are having early coffee this morning with Hooper, a Labrador who gives new meaning to the expression lucky dog. Not only did he survive the fury of Hurricane Katrina, he's also got a lot of friends, especially youngsters who love him. Most of New Orleans is underwater tonight. We are dealing with one of the worst natural disasters in our nation's history. Hurricane survivors struggle to cope with unimaginable loss. The hurricane that ravaged the Gulf Coast in 2005 claimed 1,836 lives. More than 250,000 pets were orphaned as a result of Katrina. But thanks to adoption agencies across the country, many, like Yellow Lab Hooper, were able to weather the storm and find new homes. Okay. Jane Paley and Larry Price found Hooper through labsforrescue.com. And although he was almost 1,400 miles away, Jane knew that it was meant to be. And it was falling in love online. I just looked at those eyes, I looked at that face, and I thought, this, this is the dog. The love of his new family helped nurse Hooper back to health. And it didn't take long for Jane to realize that he could be much more than man's best friend. We noticed when we started walking him that he would stop on the street and make eye contact with a child. And we thought, this could be wonderful, right? Jane reached out to animal therapy organizations, Delta Society, and Reed in hopes of making Hooper a reading companion for youngsters. Roll over. There you go. Now, as a registered therapy dog, he is all ears for his favorite people. Think of race on a horse on a ball with a fish. I sort of like being to a dog because mm, mm, it's a little bit like, easier. I twirl and swirl Hooper back. and his silent loving support provide his new friends with comfort and confidence. And his story of survival teaches a lesson they can all appreciate. I'm just a puppy. I can't even cry. The rain is blowing my, in my eyes. The wind is so loud I can't hear myself bark. No matter what happens, no matter where you go, no matter what you see or you learn, no matter what, you're always going, always persevere and always do your best because that's what Hooper was doing. Good boy. Jane Paley also helped Hooper, you could say, write his own book. It's called Hooper Finds a Family, a Hurricane Katrina Dog Survival Tale. And Jane and Hooper join us this morning. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thanks Happy for to coming be in. Here. He's fast asleep. He's fast already. asleep. He's chilling out this morning. Hey, it is early. You talked about it in the piece, but when you're online, you see this dog, you look into his eyes, you see his face. What about that made you say, okay, this is the dog? You know, it's like magic. People meet their husbands and wives and partners online. They look at a picture and say, yeah, I think I want to get to know that person. It's exactly what happened to me. I, I saw the face, and mm -hmm. he was very puny and sickly when we got him, yeah. but there was something in the eyes that was magic. Yeah, it was well, like, <laughs> got to have him. What kind of illnesses did he have? He got? had heartworm disease, uh -huh. which is, if untreated, is a fatal canine disease. Um, and the recuperation period is very long and um, took about two months really before he could even go out and exercise. Mm -hmm. But he had the twinkle right from the start. Yeah, he's looking great today, he's looking great this morning. Uh, what do you want kids to take away from Hooper's book? More than anything else, I'd like to see kids reading. I grew up with a flashlight under the covers reading Nancy Drew books and I see kids growing up now and not having the opportunity to just hide under the covers and read a book. And if it does nothing else, perhaps it will start kids on a reading journey. And uh, you know, that's so much fun for hmm, them. Sure. You can see that yeah. when they read with Hooper, they're really enjoying the process. Well you've also said that it looks like Hooper is enjoying his work as well. What makes you say that? Uh, you know, when we put the coat on to take him, the tail is wagging. He can't wait to go. He loves kids. We really discovered how much he loved uh, uh, kids because he would stop on the street and sit and make eye contact mm. with them. And it was just, we thought, you know, we never planned to have a, a therapy dog or a reading dog. He really led the way. Well, is there another book in Hooper's future? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jane Paley and Hooper, thank you both so much for joining us today. He's been so good ever since he walked in here today. We have some animals that, let's just say, are not so good, but he's been fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you.